Well, last week we traveled to Kennedy King Memorial Park to meet witnesses of Robert Kennedy's famous speech in Indianapolis. You may remember back in 1968. So we continue now. Here is the executive director of the initiative uh, telling us about how they are honoring this historic location. The Kennedy King Memorial Initiative builds upon the historic legacy of April 4th, 1968 and the inextricable link that Indianapolis plays in the story, the life, and the legacy of Senator Robert Francis Kennedy and Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. For it was here, right here in Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Park, that Senator Kennedy on the back of a flatbed truck let Indianapolis know of the death of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. What we need in the United States is not division, what we need in the United States is not hatred. What we need in the United States is not violence and lawlessness, but is love and wisdom and compassion toward one another. Feeling of justice toward those who still suffer within our country, whether they be white or whether they be black. We're really trying to inspire Indianapolis with the same things that Kenny passed on to the neighborhood and the, the community then. A story of empathy and compassion, wisdom and understanding, and, and this sort of, you know, this, this spirit of community that we need to have reinvigorated here in Indianapolis. When you see this memorial, you see these two hands reaching out to one another, and that's the best of what we can be as a community. When we look past our ethnic divides or our socioeconomic differences, even our, our religious convictions, and reaching out to one another to, to meet those needs of our neighbors, to meet those needs of our fellow citizens and, and community members, and really be that sort of beloved community and that beloved partnership that we've talked about. Yeah. So this year, we've actually entered into a wonderful partnership with Pacer Sports and Entertainment to do just that, to help actualize the marvelous potential that lies and lives in the city of Indianapolis, within the communities, within the people, within the residents, because each of us is an asset. And it's not until we make the most and truly show a value and an appreciation for the assets that, that we all bring to the table can we really be the strongest Indianapolis that we can be? Right. So we're gonna be working forward and rolling out amazing programming with uh, Pacer Sports and Entertainment. We actually have courageous conversations throughout the year addressing different issues of social equity in the community, whether that be environmental concerns, whether that be education concerns, health equity. There's so many areas to really roll up your sleeves and do the work here in Indianapolis. And we're trying to spark that change here in the city. I love that. It all it all starts there, right? And just continues. You say categories being legacy, corporate, kid, community organization. It seems like that list just goes on and on. Yes, with the 53rd anniversary of this April 4th commemoration, we are recognizing leaders in the community. Uh, we have Trailblazer Awards and also Community Builder Awards that we're giving out to organizations and individuals who are on a daily basis living out the legacy of Dr. Dr. King and Senator Kennedy on a daily basis. They're striving to overcome the divisions that we allow to divide us in community and seeking to bring redress to the injustices that people face on a daily basis. So we want to do our part to say we see you, we thank you, we appreciate you, and we want to recognize that work to hopefully inspire others to get in that fight for change. I love that we see you. Sometimes I think that's exactly what people need to hear, right, for their, their own um their soul. We have, you know, a philanthropic category for some of our philanthropic leaders here in the city who are putting their money where their mouth is and really making a difference. We've seen great empathy from the corporate community to really take a leadership position and bring about this change for equity in Indianapolis to define what that means and to actually bring it to life. We're recognizing public servants who on a daily basis go to bat for for the little guy in the fight and making sure that their voice is heard and that justice is near and dear and available to them. But also recognizing young people who are, you know, working well beyond their age and in the, in the streets leading protests and leading marches or just advocating within their sort of access and reaches to make a difference in community. Yeah. We're also recognizing community activists who are civically engaged, bringing about a change, whether it's through sports or whether it's through their advocacy efforts, because it takes all of us. We're really going to have to bring all hearts to the table, all hands to the table and all heads to the table to really be the city that we want to be. I really want to encourage everyone to just take the time to, to visit this Landmark for Peace mm -hmm. Memorial. It's a gym that we have here in the city that unfortunately not everyone knows about. Yeah. So, you know, parents, bring young people to walk through these outstretched hands, to read about the story, to, to learn more about what's going on here today and as we're inspired by what happened here April 4th, mm -hmm. 1968.
Yeah, my goodness, interesting and inspiring indeed. Hey, just a note here, each year on April 4th, the Kennedy King Memorial Initiative has a day of reflection with the entire community. You are all invited. And several of those members, both peoples and or, people and organizations, have really done their part to help strengthen Indianapolis. And we do congratulate them on all of their recent awards. You will find every single name posted on our website, IndyStyle.tv. Uh, Randy and Anessa, this is something, it was so powerful to be a part of but Randy you mentioned to me last time you said hey I remember I, I do remember that I mean I've been around on this earth now 65 years and a lot of uh, uh, things that happened in the past it's still stuck right up mm, here and right, it just doesn't right. leave you here so yeah yeah so interesting good story good yeah interview there, yeah so. good, yeah, good to hear from them as well you.